ベルトはもうすぐそこだ取るぞほら見とけほらなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんで I can keep going なんでなんで何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何15. A new champion crowned a new championship. The first time we will have an NJPW World Television Champion, Chris. Yeah, and the buzz from the crowd when this graphic went up on screen says a lot. This is one of the matches I'm most excited about on this entire card. It's the son of Strong Style versus the very representation of British Strong Style. And if Anything, if anything in these nine matches represents this, the spirit of Antonio Inoki, it's this match coming up right now. And here. we said it in the pregame show today again, there is something for everybody, every wrestling fan, whatever your taste, your preference is. And this to me will speak to the purest, those that like the grappling, the ground based submission work. But this is going to be an intense fight. Between a proven veteran in Zack Sabre Jr. and a man who definitely has a veteran's mindset, an old soul, if you will. Look, one year ago, Red Narrative yep. was a surprise opponent for Katsuyori Shibata. He was X. And he was a very different man, even to the one we're seeing today. He was nervous. He was in this big spot against his own mentor. But that was a key match for him in turning the corner. In having a bright, bright year in New Japan Strong, with blood running down his face as he beat Juice Robinson, came back from excursion determined to change New Japan Pro Wrestling. Let's see if he can do it. A host of、uh, challengers and challenges for Ren Narita as he completed his excursion. But he comes back post excursion in the tournament, and man, he faced some heavyweights right out of the chute. But Zack Sabre Jr. proved time and time again. Oh, look at the locks. God, he looks good. Rishi Sunak, pay nurses, dickhead. Pay nurses and living weight. Now he's got to go in the blue corner. Some of the big muscles are. Zack Sabre. Better than Zack Sabre Jr. and what he does came into New Japan Pro Wrestling at the expense of Katsuyori Shibata、right. and being welcomed in to Suzuki Gun. But in all of that time, to holding the British Heavyweight Championship, to being a two time New Japan Cup winner, to being a former IWGP Tag Team Champion, he has never held New Japan Pro Wrestling singles gold. And wants the world TV title to be the first. Well, blondes have more fun, the old saying goes, but Zach might find the going a bit rough here because Red Narita is going to look to smack him around and become the champ. I don't think that Red Narita isn't burned by the fact、oh. that Katsuyori Shibata has a lot of respect for Zack Sabre Jr. The Cho Zack Sabre Jr. for his exhibition when he came back to New Japan Pro Wrestling and that he won a couple、and、years ago. Speaking of which, there he is. Katsuyori Shibata has joined the Japanese announced team. Now we're going to say we've got 15 minutes on the clock. Those are all NJPW World TV title tournament matches of 15 minutes. If it goes the distance, we will have a rematch at a later date. Zach looking to end it early、yeah. if he can. Gotta be careful. Out of a stack. Each man trying to get the other's left arm and to put them in harm's way and have to deal with the question of do I submit or do I risk having my arm broken? Picks the ankle. Zach on his feet though. Swing and a miss with the PK. Started fast and furious as both men want the upper hand. But we talked about free agents a lot before our surprise tonight. But let's be honest, Zach no longer has a faction. 
And I'm sure any faction in New Japan would love to have Zack on their team. I think Zack would like to be the leader of a faction, quite frankly. He's certainly got the, the will, the mentality, the determination to it, and his vision for professional wrestling, which isn't dissimilar to Ren Narita's, quite frankly. And right, when, when Ren Narita came back, beat Tom Harishi first round, World TV title tournament, went back and talked about the changing of the guard, and it has been a narrative that we have followed ever since then, because, again, the words have meaning, and they're never just said in a vacuum. So what would be the response to the words of the young Ren Narita still, what is he, 24 years old? Just ridiculously good. Whole wrestling life ahead of him. And right now standing there with Zack Sabre Jr. He was very much in Ren Narita's spot not that long ago. Down goes Zack Sabre Jr. Classical narrative trying for a half hatch. Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, inside. shoulder first. And that's the opening Zack will want here. And Zack very much like, thank you for letting me take your left arm and I will drive it into the mat. And now the work. And we know, of course, Chris, that Zack won't just stay on the arm. He'll transition, transition. Eventually might matriculate back to the arm. Oh, man. Gino. Jeez. Oh. And again, Zach has always said wrestlers might not be the smartest people in the world, but he understands that if he just sticks with that arm at the end of the day, it's going to work out well for him. And now he's just laying in those kicks. And Narita even struggling to straighten that arm as he fires the right arm and those elbows true. Oh, oh my goodness. Now, Zach. Belly to belly. Good nice. thinking there by Ren Narita was smart. Yeah. He knew he needed a bit of a rest. He needed he needed to go into the offense very quickly then. That belly to belly is going to give him just that time to separate from Zach. Yeah, we know that narrative special number four, that more cinched in, clutched overhook suplex is something that he likes to use. The release variant there to buy himself some time while closing that distance. There's that half hatch and the bridge. Cannot begin to describe how difficult a move that is for Ren Narita, suffering the punishment to his left arm and to still be able to execute it perfectly. Cobra Twist. Yeah, talking about that. Yeah, yeah he can do it. He had that Cobra Twist there, like you said, Kevin, but that arm gave up really quickly, and Zach knows it. He's holding onto it for dear life. Uh, no. Yeah, Zach yeah. is taking that arm. Just and even the hip toss. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, you knew there would be a response, and there was. Oh, now he's just saying, well, your turn, Zach. Goal and Narita just got shot right in the back of the net. Get up! Get up! This could go on all night. This, in its own way, is strong style. The very idea that the kanji, the Japanese lettering for a match, being made up of meeting and test. It's a test of wills, a test of willingness to win. Each man almost daring the other to bring their back, oh. and both are launched back into the back, but Zach is up first, scores with the PK. And only one, kick out of one. Remember, 15 minutes on the clock. And the winner, if there is one, and we get the five minute call. If it goes to time, there will be a rematch at a later date. And an injury there from Narita. Yeah, very smart by Narita. He just needs to now slow the pace down because the pace picks up and goes into Zach's favor. If Narita can control the pace, use his strength and his body power against Zach, he's got more of an opportunity. Ren Narita started uh, 2022 
in a one and five mark in singles matches. Since then, seven and oh, he has run off a string. Where you look at some of the men he wrestled in that time, guys not us like Shibata, but like Josh Barnett. Yes. You know, people that would improve him as a wrestler. You know, he was willing to take those L's to bet himself. And you can see the way he picked up steam in the second half of the year. Coming back from excursion. Back having his way right now with Narita, who is weakened and wounded. He's holding on to that arm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, wow. Exploder in a bridge. That bridge is Narita's greatest asset. You see, every time, even though he's worn down, almost with his nose touching the mat, that's how far back he can go. And that's what he wants to use here. Yep, got it. Narita has to fight back, he can't stay in that position. Yeah, and very smart. Again, Narita. Yeah. Great ring presence there. Turning, twisting, and getting to the ropes. Zack Sabre Jr., 2-0 and in singles matches, Chris, here in Tokyo Dome. And two opponents, again, as different as you could get with Tomohiro Ishii and Sonata. Sure, absolutely. And, and that was when he was defending the British Heavyweight Championship, so certainly not u uh, very used to being in championship positions in this Tokyo Dome. Jeez. Oh, Zach taking no prisoners with these kicks. And this is all a deliberate staging. He wants Narita to break. He wants Narita to swing wild so that he can catch a hold. It's not just about doing damage with these kicks, boys. Oh, jeez. Oh. He's stinging him, but he wants Narita back on his feet. Now daring him. Come on, Come on he says. Nathan. Oh, 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 that got more of Zach than Zach had hoped. One, two, and a kick out. That dangerous game that Zach plays. And Renderita caught him, and now, here we go. Oh, beautiful. Is that Northern, rich? Yeah, Northern Lights suplex and hangs on to it now. Uh, very smart holding on to the wrist of Zack Sabre Jr. To ensure, oh, but look at Zack, that's the thing, he changes so quickly. And now he's got that arm again, Kevin. You have to look at that arm and the possible hyperextension, but the butcher's grip locked in. Uh-oh. And Zack having to let go. Very similar hold tapped out Shingo Takagi in the G1 in 21. I say Zach's like an unorthodox octopus. It's just hands and legs everywhere, and all of a sudden, you're tied up. Oh, man. Fake to the right, went back to the left. Really working that arm of Ren Red, and he's in a lot of trouble. Uh oh, caught. Oh, oh overhand right. Yeah, but look, he can't capitalize, Kevin. And Zach glassy eyed. And he's using that hurt left arm to try and sink in a choke. That might benefit Zax. Narita's going to try and cinch in as tight as he can. Zach's going to look for the escape first and now going to wrestle his way up. No, oh, beautiful. Two. Beautiful. Here we go, Chris. Here we go. There it is. The Euro Club. Oh. Say, I don't know. Narita squeezes out. And I've got a feeling we are really close to the 10 minute call now. Narita with that pin was beautifully smart. I think he baited Zach that time. And German, though. Oh, Narita straight back up, though. Yeah. It's the kick. Zach oh, crunches wow. him. And Narita defiant now. Oh, number three, no. Nobody does it better than Zach Sabre. Dude, you're all. I was so close, but Red Red is still determined to say this. And Katsuo Shibata over to our left has a smile a mile wide watching this one. And there's trying for that Cobra Twist. Narita hanging on. Now Zach hanging on. They don't just want to make history, but they want to throw back to history by doing so. If he can lock the fingers around, he'd have it, but he doesn't. Ground Cobra instead, no, coming up with the leg, there's the arm. And that's it, that's it. 
That's how quick it was. Yep. Narita went for it, went for the leg, but to get the leg, the left arm was there. Zach capitalized, and he's the new NJPW World Television Champion. The all, first. That, all that work Zach did throughout the match, destroying Greg Narita's arm, and then bang, in a split second, it was over. Not just the new NJPW World Television Champion, the first IWGP, well, a new NJPW World Television Champion, rather. And finally, after that long, long journey, Zack Sabre Jr. is a singles champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So all of the future title defenses for Zack Sabre Jr. or whomever might hold that belt in the future will be 15-minute time limits. But Gino, hey, hold on, hold on. What? Wait a minute. Okay, TMDK oh. is down here. Wait a second. What now? One of them going to challenge. Yeah, hey, there is history. There is them. a big history between TMDK and Zack Sabre Jr. Goes all the way back to Noah. They travel together, but is Shane or Mike? Hold on. Is one of them going to challenge? I'm assuming. Oh, oh. Hey. oh. oh. Is he gonna do it? Take a look, see if it's your size. The band's back together! The band's back together! Yeah. TMDK! The mighty don't kneel! Oh, it's Zack Sabre Jr. Mighty indeed! Could this faction get any stronger? Slick! Marcus Pete, Damien Slater, Mikey Nichols, Shane Hayes, Zack Sabre Jr. And Big T. Big T. What an incredible moment for TMDK as they take over the pro wrestling world. Take a look, folks. There's a new member of TMDK. His name is Zack Sabre Jr. And he's the first NJPW World Television Champion. So the first faction free agent has been reunited, Gino, with some of his old mates. And I guess it's a perfect opportunity to say Tamashi is coming back, New Japan back to Australia. Sydney, February 3rd, Melbourne, February 4th. Those people watching at home and the viewing party that PWA is hosting with Robbie Eagles. Let you know we are back February 3rd and February 4th, Sydney and Melbourne. Hey, I might even invite Cam DK, why not? It has been thus far.